Hey everybody, it's Rusty from Pickleball Channel. In this Pickleball 411, we're going to share a strategy that the pros use and how you can incorporate it into your game. So, let's learn and play. Pickleball 411 is powered by Highlands Leg Cramps, proud supporter of pickleball players everywhere. Today on Pickleball 411, I'm excited to be here at the Bobby Riggs Tennis Museum. I'm here with Pickleball Pro Morgan Evans. Thank you so much for joining us. No worries, man. Morgan is a top pickleball pro. You may have seen him meddling at the USAPA Nationals, the US Open Pickleball Championships. He's been literally teaching tennis around the world and now helping lots of pickleball players as well. So Morgan, what are we going to share with folks today? Today we're going to talk about the different ways you can disguise your shots so you can attack more effectively and win more points up at the kitchen. So let's break it down. As pickleball players, we're programmed to anticipate your opponent's shots based on visual cues of their body language. If you can disguise your shot using different body language, you can catch your opponent off guard with the element of surprise. When disguising power, the main body language indicator is the length of the backswing. When using a very small backswing, your opponent will usually anticipate a small shot, a dink. When using a large backswing, that's when your opponent will think you're about to hit a large, powerful shot. The first place you want to start when you want to disguise power is by using a very small backswing for your dinks. Using small backswings for your dinks again and again and again is going to lull your opponent to sleep, followed by one attack with the same backswing and a short, explosive use of a wrist flick. So if you use the same exact backswing, for your attack as you did for a number of small dinks, they're not going to be able to read that shot. You should be able to catch them off guard. Without a big backswing, it can be a little tricky to generate a lot of power. It involves a short and explosive wrist movement to power through your opponent. And remember, you don't have to do this just off the dink, you can do it off the volley as well. Another way to disguise your attack is the exact opposite, hitting a series of soft dinks, but this time with a large backswing at which time your opponents aren't going to know which of these large backswings is going to produce a powerful attack. If you followed us so far, let's take it up a notch. Now we're going to talk about disguising direction. When you're trying to disguise the direction of your attack, the main indicator to where you're going to hit the ball is your hip and shoulder rotation. By exaggerating your hip and shoulder rotation for a cross-court shot, then leaving the paddle behind to attack the person in front of you, you can easily catch that person off guard. What you're going to want to do here is hit a series of cross-court dinks. Then when the time comes to attack, you want to exaggerate your hip and shoulder rotation to sell a cross-court shot. Then leave the paddle behind and attack down the line. As you get more confident, you can use the no look or look away approach to really disguise the shot even further. By maintaining your focus on your cross-court opponent, you then have to use your peripheral vision to attack down the line. Much of pickleball is about reaction time, and if you can disguise your attacks, you can steal that time away from your opponents and be a more effective player. So that's your Pickleball 411 for today. Morgan, thanks again for being here. No worries, mate. We really do hope that this has been helpful, and now there's only one thing left to do, and that's go play. If there's something you think Pickleball 411 should cover, we'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is send us an email and tell us your idea. This episode of Pickleball 411 has been brought to you by Highlands Leg Cramps, America's number one over-the-counter leg cramp medicine. For more information, go to highlands.com.